all come before you now. Hungry for your healing touch. Here we stand with open hearts, thirsting for your love. You are the one who fills our every need. So with one voice we lift our hearts. In unity, one bread, one cup, one body of Christ, united in love. One bread, one cup, one living sacrifice for how. Spirit, renew us, that in each other we may see you, gathered as one family in love, one bread, one cup. As we gather at your table, broken like the bread we share, fill our hearts with your compassion for a world in need of care. You are the way, you are the light. You are the truth, the source of our salvation. We find new life in you. One bread, one cup, one body in Christ, united in love. One Poured out in your blood. Holy Spirit, renew us that in each other we may see you. Gathered as one family in love, one bread. Spirit, renew us, that in each other we may see you, gathered as one family in love, one bread, one cup, one bread, one
Welcome to the Eucharistic Liturgy of the Third Sunday of Lent. Please turn off your and silence your cell phones at this time. Please stand as we begin the celebration. Please turn in your green hymnals to song number 692. Number 692, I heard the voice of Jesus, two verses. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Come unto me and rest. Lay down, thou weary one, lay down thy head upon my breast. I come to Jesus as I was so weary, worn, and sad. I found I heard the voice of Jesus say, Behold, I freely give the living water, thirsty one, stoop down and drink and live. I come to Jesus and I drink of that life giving stream. My thirst was quenched, my soul revived, and now I live in Him, and now I live in Him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Third Sunday of Lent. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty to God, God and to you. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie O God, author of every mercy and of all goodness, who in fasting, prayer, and almsgiving have shown us a remedy for sin, look graciously on this confession of our lowliness that we who are bowed down by our conscience may always be lifted up by your mercy through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, in their thirst for water, the people grumbled against Moses, saying, why did you ever make us leave Egypt? Was it just to have us die here of thirst with our children and our livestock? So Moses cried out to the Lord, what shall I do with this people? A little more and they will stone me. The Lord answered Moses, go over there in front of the people along with some of the elders of Israel, holding in your hand as you go the staff with which you struck the river. I will be standing there in front of you on the rock in Horeb. Strike the rock and the water will flow from it for the people to drink. This Moses did in the presence of the elders of Israel. The place was called Massah and Meribah because the Israelites quarreled there and tested the Lord saying, is the Lord in our midst or not? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Come, let us sing. Joyfully to the Lord, let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. If today you hear his voice, harden not your Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God, and we are his people. He shepherds the flock he guides. If today you hear him,
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand. And we boast in hope of the glory of God. And hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. For Christ, while we were still helpless, died at the appointed time for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person, though perhaps for a good person one might even find courage to die. But God proves his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, you are truly the Savior of the The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to a town of Samaria called Sychar, near the plot of land that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there. Jesus, tired from the, his journey, sat down there at the well. It was about noon. A woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, give me a drink. His disciples had gone into the town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, how can you a Jew asked me, a Samaritan woman, for a drink? For Jews use not, nothing in common with Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God, and who is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would give him you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you do not even have a bucket and the cistern is deep. Where then can you get this living water? Are you greater than the other father Jacob who gave us this cistern and drank him himself? 
with his children and his flocks? Jesus answered and said to her, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I should give will never thirst. The water I should give will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I may not thirsty or have to keep coming here to draw water. I can see that you are the prophet or a censor's worship on this mountain. But the people say that the place to worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus said to her, Believe me, woman, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You people worship that what you do not understand. We worship what we understand because salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming and is now here when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth and in the the Father seeks such people to worship him. God is the Spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know the Messiah is coming, the one called the Christ. When he comes, he will tell us everything. Jesus said to her, I am he, the one who is speaking with you. Many of the Samaritans of that town began to believe in him. When the Samaritans came to him, they invited him to stay with them, and he stayed there for two days. Many more began to believe in him because of his word, and they say to the woman, we no longer believe because of your word, for we have her for ourselves. And we know that it's truly that the savior of the world. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Jews and the Samaritans. It's a part of today's gospel reading, the Jews and the Samaritans. Well, about the um, history of that part of the world, the, um, we're familiar that uh, the Babylonians conquered Judah, Judah, Judea, Jerusalem, I think it was 587 B.C., and they deported most of the Jewish people from there. Now, before that, the Assyrians had already conquered the northern, what's called, what was called the northern kingdom of, of, of Israel. And the same thing happened, the, you know, people were displaced and uh, the Assyrians moved in other peoples, some of their own people, other peoples from other places. And <laughs> you know what happens when people live to, next to each other? They intermarry. So, uh, and they, they have children. So, the, um, 
the non-Jews who were moved in, intermarried with whoever was remaining there from the Judean people, uh, Jewish people, and um, they gradually uh, evolved a kind of a religion that was um, all mixed up, you know, between some Jewish customs and some pagan customs. And of course, when the, the Jewish people came back from exile, 70 years after the exile to Babylon, they, um, they very much looked down upon the, uh, the um, Samaritan people. They were second class, low class. They, were, they didn't have the true faith, the true religion. So that's some of the background of, 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 the, of this reading for today. Now, one of the other things to be aware of uh, is that in the Gospel of St. John, uh, a lot of times and most of the time, there's uh, different levels of meaning going on. There's this discussion between a Jewish man and a Samaritan woman. Jesus, a Jewish man and a Samaritan woman. And um, now we could look upon that and sometimes there, there are aspects of it that, that apply, but looking on it kind of like as a, just a human interest story, you know, like something you would see in those tabloids when you along the grocery store and you see those things on, about Prince Harry and, Prince, and Meghan, Meghan, Meghan uh, Markle and, and uh, King of England and the Queen of England and the princes and the queens and the this and the that and the gossip and, or about the um, movie stars, you know a lot of times those uh, tabloids, you know, the movie stars and the politicians and the gossip back and forth. Well, there, there was some of that, but if that's all we gain from this, talk about, you know, uh, interplay between men and women in and, and, uh, that time and our time, and, and um, well, we'll miss that deeper meaning. So, um, at first the woman, you know, on, this, on one level, on the more superficial level, tries to throw Jesus off by mentioning that, you know, well, according to her understanding, you know, Jewish people, especially Jewish men and Samaritan women, don't have anything to do with each other. Okay, well, that's kind of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle type of stuff, you know. Uh, and, um, and then it starts up a discussion about You've already had five husbands. Um, and what are you really looking for, lady? What, what, what's really going on here? And, um, well, the five husbands refers to different um, practices or gods or worship systems that the Samaritan people had. And we're familiar with that imagery because we use it today too. We talk of God, our Father, our God, uh, uh, and Jesus, uh, sacrament marriage, based on the the um, Jesus, the bride. Uh, Jesus is the groom, and the church is the bride of Christ. We we use that imagery, you know, of uh, of uh, husband and wife for describing God in us. So she's had five men, five husbands, so to speak, five gods, but none of it turned out to be mountain very much. She's thirsty still. So he's talking about, Jesus is talking about that deeper level of thirst. Now there's the surface of, you know, wondering about a dipper and not having a dipper and a, drinking from the same dipper as the Samaritan woman. Okay, well, okay, there's something to that, but, but the, the deeper discussion going on is about the thirst. She, she's tried out the Samaritan people, or so to speak, have tried all kinds of different gods and they're still thirsty. So Jesus offers her living water that will finally quench her thirst in regard to uh, something to hang on to a God. 
So she becomes the, um, an apostle for Jesus. She goes and talks to other people in her village, and you can see how it happened, too, that she started off talking to Jesus just as sir. Sir. Then she talked about him, uh, talked to him as um, a prophet. And then the Messiah. So, and uh, the one who is to come. She tells the other people, they come to meet Jesus, and um, they say, we see for ourselves. Our faith doesn't depend on your story. We know now for ourselves. This person, Jesus, is the savior of the world. We believe in him. So the message for us, too, that, you know, God works in very mysterious ways, doesn't God? And uh, sometimes we're put off by, well, that, that, that m the message from God shouldn't come through that person or in this way. It should come what I expect it to come from. But, you know, now uh, we, we'll end with this thought. At, at the end, in the first reading, talks about, in the gospel reading too, about a stone that uh, water, or the time of Moses, struck the stone and water came forth. Hardness. From hardness came water. Um, so Jesus, so to speak, too, did the same thing. He struck the stone of her heart and living water came forth, or water, through his teaching and his gentleness. Well, off of that, and the experience here, there is a message for us to be careful of hardness of heart. Hardness of heart. And, um, well, the Jewish people suffered from hardness of heart because they, they had their idea about how things ought to be and they weren't open to anything different. So to, for all of us to be careful, you know, I a Jew or I a Catholic or I a this or that, am better than you are because I have this devotion or that devotion or I prefer Latin, I prefer English, or I prefer whatever. I'm better than you are. And it, it can really lead to that hardness of heart that, that blocks off the, the mercy of God to us and, and as well as to others. Or, so we are called upon to soften our hearts, to receive Jesus, to listen to him, to ask his forgiveness, to grow in love with him to carry his love to others who are not aware of him. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man.
For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Confident in the Lord's goodness, let us bring our prayers before him. For the church, that we may be a source of living water for all who thirst for meaning and purpose in their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the violence, that God will end the bloodshed in Ukraine, city streets, schools, and families, and turn human hearts toward forgiveness and cooperation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are preparing to celebrate the sacrament of penance, especially our elect, that like the women of the world, they may honestly examine their life, seek counsel, and change in their direction, and find healing and strength in the sacrament. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace of courage that we and all those on the Acts retreat through our encounters with Christ, we may strengthen, free from fear, and embolden us to share our experience of knowing Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who thirst every day, that God will assist all who have limited access to water, guide all who are searching for new sources of water, and raise our awareness of the importance of protecting clean water, we, play, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are suffering, that God will give strength to those recovering from accidents, natural disasters, who are grieving the death of loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are on a spring break, that God will preserve them from harm, help them to make wise decisions, and protect them as they travel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For personal petitions, for those who have asked for our prayers, for those whose names are written in the prayer request book, and for those who have recently died, San Juanita Rizzo, Arthur Singleton, Josephine Denzer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the rest of the soul of Theophile and Anne Eagleski and Herman O. Huner, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, Please hear our prayers today and answer them according to your wisdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join in the green hymnal number 626, number 626, Come to the Water. Except for the
Except for the Lord. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, with the sacrificial offering, and grant that we who beseech pardon for our own sins may take care to forgive our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For when he asked the Samaritan woman for water to drink, he had already created the gift of faith within her. And so ardently did he thirst for her faith that he kindled in her the fire of divine love. And so we too, give you thanks, and with the angels, praise your mighty deeds as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna in the Eucharistic prayer number three. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, 
we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, may be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain the inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Joseph, Saint Anthony, Saint Luke, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Gustavo our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With you. Offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. <laughs> peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join in the communion hymn in your blue hymnal, in your blue hymnal number 930, taste and see, number 930. <laughs>
Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness. set free taste and see taste and see the goodness of the Lord oh taste and for nothing if you ask. Taste and see that the Lord is good. In God we need put all our trust. Taste and see This is the body of Christ, beautiful, broken, and blessed, miracle of the greatest. 
Greatest of loves, presence of God in our midst. This is the cup that he shared. Endlessly emptied and poured. Sacrifice made so that we might be saved. Now and forevermore. Amen, amen. We are healed by the bread of life. Amen, amen. We are one in the body of Christ. We are one in the body of Christ. This is become flesh by his grace miracle of a mystery no tongue ever could fully explain this is the blood of the lamb gift of a heart open wide Poured from the cross to the altar where love comforts and fills and provides. Amen, amen. We are healed by the bread of life. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive the pledge of things yet hidden in heaven and are nourished while still here on earth with the bread that comes from on high, we humbly entreat you, O Lord, that what is being brought about in us in mystery may come to true completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The announcements now. Thank you for your assistance in passing the, pas the baskets for the collection and thank you for your support. Today's second collection is for the Parish Maintenance Fund. The young adult and the senior adult ministries are collecting Easter items for the annual Easter Earth. <coughs> the San, San PJ Children's Home and the Battered Women's Shelter. There is a bath in the foyer for donations to March the 26th. On Friday, March the 24th, the Axe Corps is hosting their annual fish fry. Doesn't say where the tickets can get it, but probably outside. On Saturday, March the 25th, the women of the world are hosting a retreat at the Oblate School of Theology from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Speakers for the retreat are Sister Mary Fagan, and Father Jorge Aro. More information <coughs> on each of these events <coughs> is in the bulletin, so be sure to pick one when you leave and retrieve or retrieve one from the parish website. 
Every other year, Catholics from all over Texas gather at the state capitol to show their support for the bishop's legislative agenda while Congress is in the session. There is a, there is a call it Advocacy Day, and the Advocacy Day 2023 will take place on Tuesday, March the 28th. Free transportation to and from Austin will be provided. Buses will depart from different parishes at 7 a.m. For a list of departure locations and to sign up for the event, visit the Archdiocese website and search for the Advocacy Day. The deadline to register and travel on one of these buses is Monday, March the 13th. As a reminder for the season of Lent, Adoration Chapel is now open from 6 a.m. through 10 p.m. Lenten Reconciliation Services will be held on March the 21st during the day and in the evening on March the 28th. John and Margie Fallon are taking the chalice to pray for the vocations. Please be at front and pray in the as a communion praying for the vocation is on the back of the books God Thank you. Thank you. Please, please continue praying for the vocations. I don't know if you know that we are going to have two deacons this year ordinated on June. After that, we are not have anyone that we would like to become a deacon. So please, please. Pray for the vocation. We are the church. We are. Father Joel, Father Jorge, myself, or the people who work in the offices, they are not the church. We are the church. We are the ones who need the service. We are the ones who need the vocations. Please pray for the vocation. We invite our visitors to please stand up to be recognized. Is anyone from a different church or oh, from another city that come and join us this evening? Oh, thank you everyone to being here. Anyone celebrating the birthday or anniversary? A birthday? Anyone else? Birthday? Please call me and raise your hands and pray for them. Loving God, you created all the people of the world, and you know each of us by name. We thank you for your brothers and our sisters who celebrate the birthday today. Bless them with your love and friendship, that they may grow in wisdom, knowledge, and grace. Grand this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
This mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the others. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please join us in your green hymnal, number 531. Number 531, seek the Lord. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call to him while he is still here. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call to him while he is still here. Today is the day and now the proper hour to forsake our sinful lives and turn to the Lord. Seek the Lord. 